Today, we remember and pay tribute to Corporal George Thompson. George Thompson was born on the 28th of January, 1892, in Liverpool, England. He was the younger of two sons born to Harry and Minnie Thompson. George's father, Harry, was the grandson of Robert Thompson Sr., who had established Robert Thompson's shipping yard, later J.L. Thompson and Sons. Two weeks after George's birth, Harry died of a self-inflicted gun wound after an attempted murder-suicide at the Feathers Hotel in Liverpool. After Harry's death, Minnie and her sons moved to Sunderland in Durham, where the family's shipyard was located. By the time George was 19, he was working as an apprentice of the sea at his grandfather's shipping yard in Sunderland. In early 1912, George, Nash and Minnie left England and moved to Australia, setting in Gunnedah in New South Wales. George moved to Brisbane to find work as a labourer but later listed his occupation as a dental mechanic. In 1914, George met and married Margaret Graham, and the couple moved into a house on Warren Street in Brisbane. George enlisted in the Australian Imperial Force on the 19th of May, 1915, in Brisbane. At the time, Margaret was three months pregnant with their first child. George was allotted to the reinforcements of the 25th Infantry Battalion with the rank of corporal, and he began training at Inogra camp on the outskirts of Brisbane. Nash enlisted three weeks later at Liverpool Depot in Sydney, joining the light horse as a trooper. He would go on to rise to the rank of sergeant, surviving the war and returning to Australia in March 1919. After three months of training, Corporal George Thompson departed Sydney in MA. HMAT Shropshire on the 20th of August 1915, bound for Egypt and then in Gallipoli Peninsula. He arrived on Gallipoli on the 12th of October 1915 and was taken on strength of the 25th Battalion. He spent the next two months manning the trenches on a quiet section of the peninsula before the battalion evacuated in mid-December as the Gallipoli campaign was abandoned. Margaret had given birth to the couple's only son, Neville, on the 4th of November, 1915. George would not meet his son. Arriving in Alexandria in early January, 1916, the 25th Battalion took up positions defending the Suez Canal in the city of Ismailia. On the 7th of February, George was admitted to the 7th Field Ambulance, complaining of a headache and pain in the back of his neck. Over the next three days, he was transferred through casualty clearing stations and the ambulance train to the number four auxiliary hospital in Cairo. George was declared dangerously ill with cerebral spinal meningitis, suffering from headache, neck pain, fever, and sudden fits of vomiting. From the 11th of February, his condition worsened. On, at 8 p.m. on the 14th of February, 1916, Corporal George Thompson succumbed to his illness, dying in his bed at the auxiliary hospital. He was 24 years old. George's remains were buried in the Cairo War Memorial Cemetery. At the end of the war, an Imperial War Graves Commission headstone was erected over his grave, bearing the inscription selected by his family. His duty duly noted. His name is also listed on the Roll of Honour on my right, among almost 62,000 Australians who died while serving in the First World War. His photograph is displayed today by the Pool of Reflection. This is but one of many stories of service and sacrifice told here at the Australian War Memorial. We now remember Corporal George Thompson, who gave his life for us, for our freedoms, and in the hope of a better world. Please stand for the reading of the ode and the sounding of the last post. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, 
and in the morning we will remember them. Lest we forget. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. Lest we forget. Friendships, some just want to cry. Oh man, hold your head up high. You fought for your country, you're prepared to die, so drink one for you and your mates. Oh man, hold your head up high. There's only one question, the question's why. Why did it all have to be? Why did it all have to be? Just dating when they called you up and you answered their call Just a boy with a great big heart for us you would fall And on this day we call Anzac Day we remember those who died The ones who came by main don't hurt, some barely alive Oh man, hold your head up high You fought for your country, you're prepared to die So drink one for you and your mates Oh man, hold your head up high There's only one question, the question's why Why did it all have to be? Why did it all have to be?
Love's over, so they say, for us it's just begun The memories never leave us, one for all, all for one The battle's over, so they say, for us it's just begun The memories never leave us, one for all, and all for one The last post sound, the end is near, the final hour comes round the old men start to make their way all homeward bound They've lasted one more Anzac day, will it be their last? And if it is, I know that we will remember the bloody past Old man, hold your head up high You fought for your country, you're prepared to die So drink one for you and your mates Old man, hold your head up high There's only one question, the question's why Why did it all have to be? Why did it all have to be? Why did it all have to be? Forget.